So this is an introduction to matrix mechanics. So we're going to use matrix mechanics to determine the probability that a measurement of SY yields h bar over 2 for a spin 1 half particle in the state ket psi equals 1 half plus z plus i square root of 3 over 2 ket negative z. So this is the same as the previous example except we're going to use matrices now. So recall that if we want to express y in terms of the z basis states, y is 1 over square root of 2 plus z plus i over square root of 2 minus z. Okay, and now anytime we have a ket, remember we can convert that to a bra by, so here's our ket, and here's our bra now. So we just have the complex conjugate of any of the complex terms over front and we switch all our kets over to bras. So complex conjugate, so we just do negative i square root of 2, negative, sorry, this should be a bra now, bra, so negative z. Okay, so we can actually represent this um, as a matrix, which is what it actually is. So we're just going to have 1 over square root of 2, and now for a ket, we have a column matrix. We're going to represent plus z and negative z as just 1. And then we're going to have i down here. <coughs> Excuse me. And now similarly, so plus y. We're going to, this is, okay, we're going over here. So y in the s z basis and in the s z basis. So we're going to have 1 over square root of 2 again. We just pulled out uh, front of our matrix and now a bra is a row vector. So we're just going to have 1 comma minus i. Okay, so that's all we've done here. We've taken out the plus z and the negative z and we just have that represented now in matrix form like this. So again, we want to act our plus y on our psi to get our probability amplitude. So plus y acting on psi, we're going to calculate our probability amplitude now. So this is going to be 1 over square root of 2 using this equation here of 1 minus i. And we're just going to multiply that by our equivalent. So this the matrix form is going to be psi. So this is going to go over the S, Z basis. We're just, we have this common one-halves here, so we can pull that out. So one-half, and we have a ket. So we know that is a column vector. So we're just going to have, we're left with a 1 and an i square root of 3. So then we'll fill that in here. So psi, so we have a half, and we have a 1, i square root of 3. So we do this, so 1 half times 1 over root 2, it's 1 over 2, root 2. And then we need to multiply these matrices, so 1 plus 1, or sorry, 1 times 1 is 1, and negative i times i squared of 3, so plus, so i squared equals negative 1, so we're going to have a negative 1 times negative, that'll make the whole thing positive, and we'll just have a square root of 3 here. Now to get the probability, remember we just multiply this by its complex conjugate. So plus y psi squared is the same as plus y psi complex conjugate, times plus y psi. Um, so we do this. So we're just going to take the square of this thing here because we don't have any i's. So we don't have to worry about the complex conjugate. So 1 plus square root of 3, all squared. And this is going to go to, so this term out front will become 1 over 8. 1 over 8. And here we're going to cross multiply through and we're going to get, so 1 times 1 is 1, um, 
do that here. One plus square root three plus square root three equals so one times one, one plus square root of three plus another square root of three plus square root of three times square root of three is plus three. So that is four plus two square root of three. So we're gonna get four plus two square root of three. And then we can simplify this again. So we're just gonna get one half plus square root of three over four, which is the same as our previous example, except now we did it with matrix mechanics. So it is, um, however you wanna do it, um, it doesn't really matter but it is important to make this connection that you can actually represent your cats as column vectors and you can represent your bras as row vectors. Okay, thank you for watching and have an excellent day.